G'day viewers, welcome back to the channel. As usual, we're running late. We're heading into Buckland Valley. We're just going to find a spot to camp for the night. And then tomorrow we're going to head into uh, Harrietville, check out the local market, and um, we'll drive over the top, maybe stay the night at Devil's Hollow. So, as you saw last video, got the new Altic 8.5 spotties. How yeah, good are they? They might still be a little bit east-west with the adjustment but all in all these are pretty good. You've got to get yourself a set of these. Morning guys. We spent the night down here at Buckland Valley just on um, uh, our young camping ground there. Got in quite late as you saw. We're just going to boot back to Popanka come through Bright over to um, Harrietville. They've got a market on there this morning, um, so we'll check that out. Um, probably just a, some local produce and uh, bits and pieces. Then we'll head up to the wards, Mount Hotham. And then we'll turn off um, Dargo High Plains Road and cruise through. We'll see you on the traffic and the weather. We might have a look at um, at Blue Rag. We might just camp up at um, at Devers Hollow here and um, stay there for the night. Or we might even finish up all the way down in um, in Dargo down here, or or Talbotville, or we'll see what the day brings us. So um, that's all for now. As you can see behind me, the latest addition. We'll go more into that um, maybe when we're at uh, Devil's Hollow, but um, the new mop top, next gen version 6, is pretty good. Pulled over for a stop. Here, just dropping the tyres down. We're going to um, going to head up uh, Blue Rag, which is just um, back up the road here a minute. And um, not sure what we're going to see at the moment. Look at—I don't know if you can see it or not. Look at the fog. January, summer of January 2024. So I'm not sure what we're going to see up there, but. Um, Stay with us and I'll show you what we see. The edge of Devil's Hollow. It's like a cliff edge here but you can't see much at all. Can't believe this fog. All through the snow gums. Looks quite cool, really. There's the old truck over there. Well, next stop, Blue Rack. Blue Rag Range Track. Here we go. The start of Blue Rag, there's some great little camp spots just nestled into the snow gums. But look at the at the fog. You see like a storm coming in. 
one side fog, one side sunshine, amazing stuff. This is unbelievable. Middle of January 2024. I've got the bush flowers out. Stage one call it of, of blue rags down there. Basalt North is down there. You'd be lucky to see 10 meters in front of you. And blue rag to the summit is that way. Just jump in the big girl and get going. Didn't even know what this close, but there we go, we made it. <laughs> oh, oops. There's a guy camping here, look. Huh. I'm not sure how he's doing. He's got the hood popped. Can't see him. Must be inside. Amazing sight. Absolute white out. There she is, the trick point on Blue Rack in the big 200, walked it up nice and easy. Ties down to 22. You, can, you can't see much in front of you. A few areas there are pretty sketchy to say the least. A lot of washed out. I've had a lot of traffic through here lately, um, especially with the storms and things. A lot of water, a lot of traffic, summer breaks and all. So understandable, but um, if you haven't done it before, tread lightly, I would say. But um, this is unbelievable. This is next level. This is like winter, winter conditions. There she is, Blue Rag. All right, we're getting out of here. That was Blue Rag. Just on our way down. Look at the mist. Mist, fog, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's everywhere. Some of these are, uh, some of the tracks, they're pretty rutted out. I'll show you some of it on the way back. But, um, this fog, it, um, I didn't even know I was at the summit until I saw the, the trig point there. This I just appeared, in, the fog just cleared out and then it appeared in front of me.
Oh, we just completed Blue Rag. That was insane, like, fair dinkum. Can't stop smiling enough, that was that was awesome. Um, it was rutted out, no doubt, but um, a good challenge for the 200 and myself. Um, but good, good fun, good honest fun. In these conditions, like, it's insane, it's so eerie. Um, but it's so warm still at the same time. It's still, it's still probably 20 up here. It's real humid. Um, it's getting late though. It's probably about 5.30. Quarter to 6 now. Um, so we're going to make a break for it out of here. Um, we're going to camp down at Talbotville for tonight. Um, get a little fire going, feed up. It'll be nice to get there for once before it's dark. So um, we're going to go out the way we came. And... Um, I'll give you a little bit more footage of down there too because there's a couple of hairy sections coming up. So, um, brace yourself. getting worse we're, we're down to about 10 k's temperatures dropped I've got my hazard on just rolling along I can't you can't see look at that okay I think it's still straight for right now this is next level That's what it's all about. After a big day on the tracks, coming home to this beautiful Crooked River, it's just over here in the background. I'll show you that in the morning. Camp's all set up, got the awning there, she's up tonight. The hive, as we've named it, is up there. That's where Queen Bee is going to be sleeping. There's a bit of um, bit of fog and rain mist around, but um, what we saw today um, up on on Blue Rag there, that was next level. Never seen anything like that. Um, the uh, Blue rag when it's clear is, is is fantastic. You can see for miles, and that's what the view is uh, renowned for. Um, it's what people drive to see. I've seen it when it's partly cloudy, and then I've seen today. And today, strangely enough, is my favourite um, conditions to see it in. It was eerie. It was all a bit different, but it was um, so it's something something else, next level. So. Um, it's hard to describe the feeling you get when you're up there today and you could um and you could see it like that it was it was strange strange but um fantastic so 
we're going to enjoy it. We're going to have some tea. We're going to sit around the fire, relax, and um, do what you do when you're in the high country. Till the morning. Cheers. You cheeky monkey. Let's have tea. Morning guys, just standing on the banks of the Crooked River, beautiful little spot. One of the crossings is just here, they camped up just behind me, beautiful stream, full of rainbow and browns. But this morning we're just going to go, drive back out um, on McMillan's Road and um, have a look at the, the Grant Historic Area. and. Um, head for Dargo for a, a strong coffee and then um, head for home. So we'll see you down there. And, and That's a wrap for this adventure. Just finishing up in Dargo, put some air in the tires and we're off long road home so we're going to hit it now thanks for watching stay tuned for more episodes to come thanks <laughs>